that time again. I don't know what I was expecting from the next Ali part drop, but this wasn't it. And I'm actually quite surprised, pleasantly surprised, because I really like the colours that I included in this drop. And actually having it featured on Beyonce and Vogue was a, a really nice surprise. I was able to pick up quite a few pieces and I wanted to share them with you guys as I do. So we're going to use the same formula that I've used in the last few videos. And we're going to start with the top that I have on. So I have on this bralette. I don't know exactly what it's called, but all the information about it should be featured here for you guys. And, and there will be links in the description box. But I went up a size. So I am eight weeks postpartum. So I went up a size and everything. So this is a large and it's in this blue flower print, which of all the colours and prints that are included in this drop, this blue might be one of my favourites. It has thin straps and it's just cropped. I don't have a bra one. It's given pretty good support, but this style is actually quite different to the bralette styles that are usually included. So I've noticed that there are a few different um, cuts in this collection. So this one hasn't been featured in any of the other drops because it has these thin straps. Normally the straps are quite thick. And the back is pretty plain it just goes over the shoulder and it's plain at the back i do like this bralette but i don't think that i would be using it for working out at all if you're doing light workouts then i think it will be fine but there just isn't much support that's given from these little straps they are adjustable which i like and i do feel supported enough to kind of give me a bit of cleavage as it is but not enough to jump around and run and do all of that kind of stuff with it. It doesn't have a clasp or anything, which is also new. So normally uh, the bralettes, they will come with like a clasp, but this one, you just pull over your head. I'd say it's pretty true to size. So I'd say you could probably stick with your size for this one. I do really, really love this color. I'm not too sure about the flowers. <laughs> I'm not too sure about the flowers. I think it works on some of the items and not so much on others. But I definitely like this blue underneath it. I think it's really pretty. There is padding on the inside as well. I'm not necessarily a fan of padding because I find that it moves and crunches up in the wash and sometimes when I'm wearing it. So I might be inclined to take those out. But otherwise, I think it's very, very nice. It's very thick and it's kind of got that like sweat resistant, water resistant kind of feel to the material, which I like as well. The bralette gets a thumbs up for me. I did notice that some of the items that were styled on the models weren't available, but from what I understand, some of the silver items are gonna be releasing in September. And I'm not sure if there are some other blue items that are gonna come in September as well, because there wasn't, there wasn't actually that much in comparison to what I saw advertised available. But anyway, I'm gonna show you combinations with this top as much as I can. Okay, so you can see what it looks like with some of the other stuff that I bought. But with the leggings that I've got on, I think that it looks cute and I like it. So the leggings are like the standard leggings that come, that have been coming in all of the drops. So they have like that knicker detail. But in this case, the knicker detail just has like a blue stitch. So it's not super obvious. In some of the other drops, the, the V in the front and at the back was super obvious. So it kind of looked like you were holding, you had knickers on over your leggings. But this one is not like that at all. It just has a blue stitch. So you actually kind of have to look pretty hard to notice it actually. It's quite dis discreet. And it is in the flower print as well. And I did go up a size in the leggings. I'm not actually sure that I needed to, but it does feel comfortable. And I do feel quite a lot of support around my midsection, which I like and which is usual for this particular style. It does have this thick band. And as you can see, they come up really high. If I wanted to, I could make it come as high as the bralette to kind of look more like a bodysuit or a jumpsuit. It does have uh, blue Adidas lines running up the side, which I think are nice. Although those lines are not featured on the bralette, but they do run up the side of the, side of the leggings. I don't know if I'm just boring, but when I go to the gym, I usually just wear like neutral colors. So I don't think that this is something that I'd wear to the gym and I think that this is this has been my issue with some of the drops that all of the clothes are really nice and I feel like the design team does such a good job. I think you can tell that they spend a bit of time thinking about what style and material they're going to use 
but it's just like where am I going I'm just not sure where I'm going in the clothes although I look great so these leggings I think I might use them for like yoga or working out at home but I'm not sure that it would be a style that I'd wear to the gym just because they're so loud but if you like wearing more loud you know colorful items to the gym then this would be fine I think it gives enough support I'd probably put a different bralette on or a different bra on with it to give me a bit more support but I think that the leggings are very supportive and they're super comfy. So next I have what I think is my favourite item. I was going to leave it to the end but I think it looks pretty good with what I've got on now. So I'll show you it now. And it is the jacket, the bomber jacket. It is reversible but my favourite size is the blue size. So I'll show you what it looks like on. So I didn't go up a size in this. I stuck with my size because it said that it was oversized. So I picked this up in a medium and it is... It's pretty huge. <laughs> you guys will be able to see that it is really, when they said it's oversized, they were not lying. I think if you want a fit for this jacket that is just right, then I would even consider going down two sizes. I'd definitely go down at least one size for this. So I love this jacket. I think it is so cute. And I, again, I love the color. The print on this jacket, I think, I can imagine different ways that I could style the jacket to complement the pattern, to complement the floral pattern. It does have Adidas lines here. It is a sporty piece, but it's not so sporty that you can't like wear it. You could only wear it to the gym, if you get what I mean. And I, that's what I find sometimes with some of the items. It's very sporty in the, in the cut, but then the material and the colours that I use are quite casual or more dressy, so it can be a bit <laughs> Could be a bit confusing to think of an occasion to wear it to but i think that this of all of the items i have actually is the most versatile and i can think of a few different ways to wear it i just wish it was smaller so i've let my husband try it on actually and he's going to keep it so we are going to have it in the house and i might maybe off the shoulder or something i might be able to find a way to like finesse it and wear it anyway but i just think it is so pretty it does have pockets and the Pockets are not covered by zips, so they're pretty open. I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So on this side, it is a khaki colour. And so the Adidas lines on it are grey. The pockets on the green side do have zips, which I wonder how they managed to do that. I don't think it's the same pocket hole as the, as the, blue, as the blue side, but these pockets have zips. I actually prefer... The pockets with the zips are without, but I prefer the blue colour than this colour. There is also a zip on this side too. I don't know why I prefer the, the blue, but I just do. <laughs> but what I do like though is that this colour is a bit more autumn-y, wintry, and this side's a bit more summery. So it's kind of versatile for all of the seasons if you wanted to wear it throughout the year, I think. I can think of different ways that you could do that. It's not super thick, but I do feel I'm getting a bit hot. <laughs> it seems to work to keep the heating, which I guess is nice for cooler months, but it's not so heavy that I think I'd feel like overwhelmed in the warmer months. Maybe I'd wear it in the evening. So next I have on a pair of the unisex shorts and I have them in this blue color. And the reason I picked up these shorts is because I was really trying to find something from the collection that I could wear with this bralette that wasn't the leggings. Because I just feel like the whole floral set for me might just be a bit too much for me to wear. But I thought that maybe I could wear the bralette with the shorts. And I actually do quite like the shorts. They are pretty thick. I did not go up a size in these. So I picked these up in a medium. And I think the size is okay. There are pockets that run up the sides of the thigh. On each leg there is like a more of a, there is more of like a swim suit, swimming trunks kind of material that runs up each side, which I think is a pretty nice detail. They do always do a really good job with their details at Ivy Park. There is also hidden pockets on each side. So you cannot really see the, the zips and then the pockets kind of fall to the front here. And I do also like the length of the shorts. I do have pretty thick thighs, so if you're anything like me, then I would suggest to go up a size if you want more of a relaxed fit. These 
fit pretty fitted on me um, but they don't feel uncomfortable is some elastication at the waist so you can adjust that if you want to these shorts were actually a really nice surprise i didn't expect to like them as much as i do but i love the color and i think that they are actually quite cute and worth getting next i have some of the silver items and i have the bralette first which is a new cup for ivy park i've not seen this cup before so it's got like a racer detail at the front and at the back it's got a clasp this silver color i did expect for there to be more available in this color so there were quite limited options i wasn't sure about what the material would be like but it is kind of in this high shine it's almost got speckles in it detail and it's a bit rough to touch it's not very smooth i did go up a size in this so i picked this up in a size large and i I feel like I do have a little bit of overflow here. I don't think it looks bad, but I would probably say that this doesn't give you the most coverage on your boobs. Again, this isn't something I probably need to go up a size if I wanted to use it for the gym. But then the colour and the material would mean that I probably wouldn't use it for the gym anyway. <laughs> But as like a casual crop top, I think that this style is fine. It's not adjustable though, so it is kind of just to fit. And there isn't much stretch in it. There is a little bit. I would say between this bralette and the blue one, there is definitely a bit more give in the blue one. And I actually feel a bit more comfortable in the blue one. So if I was using either of them to work out, it would probably be that one. This one I'd probably wear casually so i think it's just okay for me i think it looks nice but it doesn't feel super comfortable the bottoms i picked up the shorts and they are in the same silver kind of rough material i'm not sure how i feel about the material it's not bad material because it's not thin or anything like that it's just i'm not sure how comfortable it is it looks nice though it reads pretty well on camera too but it does have silver adidas lines up the side it doesn't have the knicker detail which might be like the first <laughs> the first time ever I've, I've seen one of their bottoms without that detail so it doesn't have the knicker detail on it it's pretty plain actually this is probably more of what I'd expect from like a traditional adidas pair of cycling shorts other than the colour so it doesn't have any zips but it does have the thick band across the belly so I do feel supported I'm just not sure about it I, I feel like I'm I'm not sure I feel like it's good for pictures I was also excited to pick up the yellow, um, a few yellow items, but unfortunately I didn't this time because everything yellow was swimwear and I'm not sure that I was expecting that. Now I've gone back to look at some of the promo, I, I've noticed that all of the yellow stuff is, is swimwear, but I think that maybe I expected a mix of swimwear and other things in that colourway, but it was just swimwear, like two pieces. I do really like that robe, but I can't, I just can't think of how. I just can't think of how I'd wear it other than at the beach side. I didn't pick up anything yellow, but I did pick up an accessory. So the accessory I picked up is the bucket hat. Again, I expected there to be a few more options available for accessories, but there weren't that many. I did see in the promo that they had like a wide brim hat, which I was quite excited to try out, but they didn't have that available and they only had one pair of shoes available, which I didn't really like, so I didn't pick up the shoes um, but I picked up the bucket hat with a chain and this is what it looks like on I can't remember if the bucket hat comes in sizes but if it does I picked up the biggest size and it does feel a bit snug and like I feel a bit of pressure here but it is in the same silver as the outfit and together it does look pretty it does look pretty cute <laughs> together but it's just like am I going to the corner shop am I going am I going to the supermarket am i going out with friends where am i going but the material of the hat is different i actually i think i pre prefer this material i think and then it has this chain now this chain i think it looks pretty good i was a bit concerned that this hat might look a bit inexpensive i, I, I just feel like with the high shine silver and then this big chain that you have to kind of be a bit careful with how you style it but i'm pleasantly surprised by this chain because it doesn't feel very heavy it's, it doesn't drag the hat the hat down or anything like that but it looks pretty good you can also take the chain off so on the inside there are hooks 
that you can use to take the chains off and then it is reversible as well so you can wear it on this khaki side i'm not sure that i like the khaki color so i doubt i'll be wearing it on this side but if you wanted to then it's got like the ivy park signing silver there and i think it is still pretty cute you can still wear it with the silver the silver chain on it or you can take it off and that leads me to the announcement of today's giveaway so i will be giving away this hat i know this hat is one of the things that were pretty high in demand from this collection. So all you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram and put pick me down in the comments. And I will be picking the giveaway winner when I get to 2000 subscribers. It is an international giveaway so I will send it to wherever you are. I may be back with another video if the additional release is any good i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i always love filming ivy park calls for you guys so i'm hoping you guys enjoyed this one too let me know what you've picked up from this drop down in the comments below what you think of this drop and i will see you in my next video